Today we're here at Eric Miller's farm for the Corn Growers Field Day to learn. We all value clean water and the conservation practices that move us in the direction of reducing nitrogen and phosphorus runoff. We are in just outside of Cascade, Iowa. It's a farmer field day. It's really a, an educational, informational uh, approach to not peer pressuring farmers into conservation, but looking to see what's working with other farmers. My name is Eric Miller. I'm the fourth generation farmer here, uh, the Miller family farm. Doing a lot of conservation practices um, with cash crops, being able to use cover crops to kind of manipulate how I can improve my bottom line. Everything I looked at kind of kept turning me towards cover crops. And the more I learned about them, the more I discovered how powerful they really are and how much they can help me. I can't wait to show farmers that this system works. The true goal in this partnership is to look at how we can bring city, counties, federal, state funding and get more hands, uh, more dollars in the hands of farmers. And at the same time, work with them operationally on their farm into nutrient reduction. So we thought uh, if we could partner, come up with better ideas of how to use uh, egg, egg ground to reduce phosphorus and nitrogen, that uh, it would benefit both cities and the rural community. And so we're going to be uh, one of the first cities to uh, do that, and we're looking forward to some really positive results. Being able to use these uh, cover crops in ways that can benefit rural and urban communities is kind of a win-win for everybody. now for over a decade and I think traditionally speaking you know relationships truly are infrastructure and uh, developing trusting relationships with farmers is really important feeling you know farmer feels threatened or, or is viewed as a problem or a challenge that you know we're trying to get something from a government program we knew that that's not the right approach to dealing with collaboration and cooperation um, so it's it's really more about how can we uh, look at incentives, how, can, how do we look at dollars, return on investment, how do we, how do we share stories like Eric Miller today that it, it can work, we can work on this together. Cover crops have the ability with those living roots to keep the nutrients in place and even pull nutrients that have leached deep in the soil back to the surface to be able to use for your cash crops. And so it's kind of almost a side effect of improving the water quality to also improve your bottom line with using cover crops. And obviously the community wants that and the farmers want better water quality. So it's, it's a good way for everyone to team up and, and work together. This is a good opportunity today, this field day, to show guys you know, what the power of nature can do for you. So it's exciting.